Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. For today's video slash vlog, I did something something a big decision is a big i'm saying big decision now after i've had to do half the work <laughs> it's a big decision it was a lot of work i decided to switch my beauty room spare bedrooms and the struggle whenever i first moved in was picking which one to use as my beauty room i didn't know which one i wanted to use originally my idea was to like make the entire room into a pax closet or like just a built-in walk-in closet and that didn't happen because i didn't feel either of the rooms worked for that but that's because i was looking at the rooms and there's in this room there's two windows and i was like that's not gonna work because i don't have an entire free wall to put packs on and then in the other room it was a rectangle but it's like a, like a skinnier room does that make sense like it's a rectangular room but it's skinny so I would have to sacrifice having like a closet island to have like a full wall where I can put packs because I just was thinking of the windows as like they're objects that won't you know packs can't go there because it's a window but I never thought to build the walk-in closet around the window <laughs> It sounds silly, right? It sounds silly, but I guess for me in the moment, you know, when you buy a house, you have a lot of things going on. For me in that moment, it was just like, eh, the rectangle room is the easiest room because, you know, I could the whole wall is blank. Yeah, that was the logic behind my choosing my beauty room room. So anyway, fast forward to now, I decided to switch it to this room. Most of it is because I just want I just I just want new content to make I'm creative again I want to do another room like a different room and the other half of that reason is because this room would be much more functional And the reason for that is is because we already have two built-in wardrobes in this room That I could just get doors for which you're seeing behind me and also the fact that this room is a square so this a square is going to fit a closet much better like it'll look way more open I decided you know what why not just swap it i was ready for a fresh paint color anyway i was ready for something new so i decided to jump into all the work that it takes <laughs> to build this room again. I'm so excited because you guys will get to see new fresh content, new ideas, new ways to organize your closets. So I'm really, really excited for it. And I feel like I rambled on and off. I think I just rambled for four minutes about closet decisions. Anyway, without further ado, in today's video, we are going to be starting, because I vlogged, the process of putting this room together. All right. Let's get started. By the way, at the end, you will get to watch me cleaning some juicy couture bags. I know you guys have been waiting on that, so here I am, your pink fairy godmother delivering. Okay, ding ding, let's get started now. Okay guys, it is Saturday night and I just finished doing touch-ups for the new beauty room. It is nighttime, I have the ring light going. Um, this is what the paint color looks like. Wow, it's actually looking pink on camera now. I took a picture to post on my house Instagram and it did not look pink for some reason, but I think it's because it was still contrasting with the other paint color, but now it looks baby pink for sure. I'm so in love with this shade of baby pink. This is my favorite shade of pink. It's like very light, very baby pink, and it's not too warm, but it's not like blue tone if that makes sense it's just like a neutral baby pink so next up is to clean up all this floor we actually used a gun to paint in here like a like a painting gun well manny painted pretty much most of the room i did the closets the trims the touch-ups i did all the masking better remove this fan and add my chandelier in here but yeah there's quite a lot of work to get done so I am going to start cleaning up this floor so we can actually start putting stuff in here so that my office, which is currently all over my house, can have a place to go in the other room. So yes, let's get it. By the way, it looks patchy because I did touch up. So there's spots that are wet and spots that are dry. So yeah, I just thought I would put that up there. Okay guys, here's what it looks like. 
so pretty. So we hung up some curtains. Um, I am still getting blinds for these windows and I couldn't help myself. I brought stuff in here. <laughs> so yeah, I have my purses. So I still have to clean up the floor like mop. Um, but besides that, we can start kind of moving things in and putting the room together. So I'm really excited. Check out the disaster I have in the other beauty room. Um, just clothes everywhere, everywhere, stuff everywhere, shoes. It's madness, it's literal madness. I had to take down the rods so that I can like use them for the other closet. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going through all of this, getting rid of a lot. My Poshmark is gonna be popping for the next few weeks. Be patient with me with the shipping, you guys. I have so many things happening right now. So shipping may take a little while. Like I may not be able to ship your stuff for a few days. So please, please just be patient if you do decide to purchase anything off my Poshmark. It'll be pretty inexpensive, um, just depending what it is, of course. Um, I'm not going to price anything retail. Everything's gonna be below retail. So, so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of disaster happening. But I wanted you guys to see. Do you guys see how little the space is between the couch and the packs? I always wanted to have an island, and I could never do that in this room because there's just not enough room to have an island, like a closet island. But since the other room is square. I can add an island to it. I'm so excited because I've always, always wanted an island in my closet and it's going to add 12 more drawers for me to be able to store things. I know it seems ridiculous because this room seems like it looks bigger because it's a rectangle, but everything is kind of like squished. I don't know how to explain it because it is a rectangle. And although I won't be able to fit as many things on the walls over there because of how the windows are, I don't mind it because my main idea is to turn it into a dressing room closet and not like too loungy because this room that we're currently in right now, which is my current beauty room that you guys have seen a tour of, this room is going to be the lounge slash gaming room slash office slash business storage and I felt like it seemed right to do that with this room because I can not only keep my couch in here, which is currently full of stuff, I know guys, it's a mount it's a disastrous mountain. I swear this is going to be all cleaned up by today. But um yeah, this mountain or this couch right here can stay here so we can still lounge and it's also the gaming room. So it it just makes so much more sense to have the couch in the gaming room because you know we can lounge and stuff. So the couch isn't going nowhere, the Victoria's Secret closet isn't going anywhere either. I am just switching my closet slash vanity to the other room so that I have like an actual walk-in closet that's like built in with an island type of situation just because the biggest issue that I have is storage. Um, I was also losing now on all of the extra storage that is in the other room because it has the two closets already built into the room. So hopefully I'm making sense with what I'm telling you but yeah that's the reason why I did not turn this into the walk-in closet I had originally envisioned, which I was gonna do at my mom's before we bought the house. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's making sense. Like I know this room is like a rectangle, so it'll allow for more things to be in the room, but that's the thing, I want less things, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I wanna declutter, I wanna keep the things that I absolutely love and want to have in that room. Um, that will be my closet. I want it to be just, you know, my dream closet and not like not so much stuff out and displayed. Also, because this room only has this window and it's a rectangle, this room doesn't get good lighting in the daytime, like with the window. Like I have to turn on all the lights in order for all these shadows to go away back here. So when I'm filming, it's quite the setup. I have to set up so many different things, like two ring lights, one behind me, one in front of me. I have to have these lights on, I have to have these lights on, just to illuminate 
the room fully and in the other room since the windows are on both corners of the wall it gets double the lighting that this room does throw on a little makeup i just showered i'm gonna do my hair and then we're gonna get to organizing all of this hey guys i put myself together a little bit very simple makeup because i really want to get started but we are in the new closets and we are ready to start filling so the reason why there's a few pieces hanging on each rod is because i needed to know exactly where to put the um the bars um i got to wipe these down because when manny cut them they got a little dirty so i have to wipe these down and you know start hanging things but yeah that's why um that's why there's clothes on here already because i was measuring kind of like you know how much space i needed height wise so yeah let's get started okay i figured i would start with some dresses um, just because that's what's on the floor and I hate my clothes being on the floor. So I'm going to set these down. I have like a little stepping stool here. I'm going to set these down and start going one by one. Um, and I'm just going to sort out what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. Okay, if you guys are wondering how I'm going to decide what to get rid of, I know I have so many beautiful pieces of clothing in my closet. I had it already where I had kind of only the things I liked, um, but I didn't really go through and think about what I haven't worn like in a long time or if it really sparks joy in me, even if it's beautiful. Is it something that I like on my body type? Is it clothes that I reach for, that I am excited to wear? I never really considered these things. So I'm going to consider all these things when decluttering if it sparks joy in me, which is like the Marie Kondo method. If I have worn it in the last year, if when I look at it if it makes me excited to wear it like if I can even picture an outfit with it if I have a hard time picking an outfit with it it's got to go so that's what I'm going to be doing for this video I have a lot of dresses I've kept since like I lived in Dallas that you know are dresses they're like party dresses like stuff I would wear like to go out and like events and stuff which I don't really do that that much anymore I know it's a pandemic right now so no one's really going out and I don't want to base my decision off the pandemic because the pandemic is not going to be forever but I do want to base these decisions off of whether things are still my style. Would I still wear this out? Would I, does it still make me excited or make me feel sexy in it? Because that's kind of what I think about whenever I'm going out. Does it make me feel good? Does it make me feel confident? And if it doesn't, it's got to go. I just want to say so this is the system I'm working with or what I'm planning on doing so over here we're going to have dresses and we're going to have dresses or long coats it's basically dresses and long coats but might only be dresses I don't know yet um, on the bottom I want to put like just bottoms like skirts basically skirts because I don't really hang my pants I like you know putting them in drawers so either skirts and more long coats or just skirts. I don't know yet. It depends what fits after I'm done decluttering or like what I need the space for. Um, over here on this side, we have uh, long sleeve tops. We have probably sweaters and jackets and stuff. And then down here we'll have sweaters. And then over here we're gonna have short sleeve tops and tank tops. So that's the idea. Also keep in mind that in front of me, this other wall over here, this entire wall is gonna be a pack system. So there's gonna be more places to hang clothes on the pack system as well as I'm gonna have an island. So on the island, I'll be able to store um, more sweaters and like pants and gym clothes and everything so there's going to be quite a bit of storage so I'm trying to also keep that in mind when putting stuff in here I don't want to overdo it I definitely want to get rid of enough to where it's not crowded and I'm also only keeping the things I really love um, but at the same time I'm not gonna like force myself to get rid of something over like the space Definitely, I'm gonna keep everything that sparks joy in me and that I really love. I'm just getting rid of things that are really old. Um, I figured I don't like on my body type or not my style anymore. You guys already heard me ramble about this enough. So let's continue. More clothes. <laughs>
oh, I know I took these out of my my ba master bedroom closet. These weren't even in my other closet, my little walk-in closet. So again, not my favorite shade of lavender. So I'm gonna get rid of. Okay, I absolutely adore this dress. So I'm gonna keep this one because I feel like I can get a couple more wears out of it. Okay, I was gonna hang coats on this other side, but because dresses is what I wear the most, I'm going to make this entire closet dresses and we're gonna put some coats on this side and then the rest of the coats that don't fit will be hung whenever I get my pack system at the end of the month. What I'm doing is I'm putting all my like cream and pink on this side. And now you guys can see that I have room like move around so my cream is pink on this side and my other pastel colors and stuff on this side okay so i don't know why i just randomly was looking at this and i was like something doesn't it's not satisfying me I think, I think what I'm gonna do is on this side, I'm gonna put cream, white, tan, nudes, black on this side and then pink and pastels on that side. I think that would make more sense, like kind of like colored and then neutrals. I don't know, I feel like that makes more sense. Tell me if I'm wrong, but it just sounds right in my head. So I'm gonna try it. Let's see how that looks. I don't know why that makes more sense to me, but it just does. I feel like it looks better too. So I only have one black dress. I don't know, I don't buy a lot of black, but I really do want to venture out to, you know, more black just for contrast. So this is what we have going on. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I gotta tie this because it bothers me. Like stuff like this bothers me. So I have to tie this so it's not just hanging at the bottom like that. Okay guys, here we have the huge get rid of pile and we're not done yet there's gonna be so much more i'm getting rid of oh my gosh this is crazy okay guys so i lost my camera underneath all the clothes <laughs> face palm but um i went ahead and added all my skirts in and i actually only got rid of one skirt i don't have that many skirts i actually would like to get more um, Here's this, and then we have my little helper. She Hola. came to help. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. I have my horchata. Oh my god. And then Charlotte just put together some of my perfumes. Love her for that because I'm doing a perfume collection tomorrow. So, yeah, this is what we're working with, guys. Woo, definitely a lot of work. So, now it's time to get to this closet right here.
All right, guys, my battery died, but you guys, we have everything in everything. And then we have all the stuff I'm getting rid of. And then over here, we have stuff that's gonna go in the pack system. So it's just gonna go in my spare closet for now until I get the packs in here. And I go to Dallas to buy the rest of the packs for this whole wall. So that's what's gonna happen. I'm going to start taking pictures of all this and posting it on Poshmark. Okay guys, so it's officially Tuesday and the truth is all morning I've been dealing with like terrible, terrible migraines. But I did want to show you guys this before the daylight is all gone. <laughs> Yesterday you guys saw this room with the ring light at nighttime and it's just so different in the daytime when it's like more illuminated. You can really see how beautiful that the wardrobes look. Um, so I just want to show you guys from afar. So this is the entry door to the beauty room, to the new beauty room. And then the wardrobes are all on this wall. It takes up the whole wall. And yes, I moved the mannequin to the corner, but I might move her back. Um, I was just thinking of adding my lingerie chest here, but I actually think my lingerie chest is a little too wide for that area. So I probably won't do that. I'll probably just move the mannequin back over there. I'm trying to make sure the room doesn't look cluttered. But we did end up moving in my vanity. So I can't show you much. The drawers are still missing because I'm doing a major declutter video. That's probably going to be my next video, honestly. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. And then I wanted to tell you guys that the next half of today's vlog is actually going to be finally my Juicy Couture clean with me. Like I'm going to show you guys how I clean my Juicy Couture purses now. So uh, after I show you guys my new pajama, we're gonna jump into it. But this is my new pajama, guys. It's so gorgeous. This is from By Sophia. And it's so beautiful. I just wanna put it on already. This is like actually like pants and a top. My pink drink, Charlotte brought me a pink drink today cause she knew I was having migraines. I actually called her because I get really terrible kaleidoscope migraines and they scare me. So I wanted to make sure that someone knew since I'm home alone today cause Manny's working. Um, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, someone knew that I wasn't feeling well just in case anything, but um, I'm actually feeling so much better now. Um, I think the pink drink actually helped because of the sugar. I did that and then I went ahead and like ate some more. Um, usually eating helps. I think I was just kind of exhausted because I have been moving and doing a lot of heavy, heavy work to get this room completed. Like I've been moving furniture, painting, like just doing so many things, like carrying so many things, like heavy things. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that my body just needs rest, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. And honestly, I don't feel like my body can do more for this vlog except clean the juicy bags i think i need to give myself a small break i've really been going at it um so yeah but i wanted to update you guys on that show you guys my new pajama so let's go ahead and get into cleaning some juicy bags showing you how i clean my juicy bags now so you're gonna need some water i have like about a cup of water in this and this is the cleaner i use it's called Jason and Mark, this is actually a shoe cleaner, but it cleans suede. So that's why it will also work probably with the velvet. Right? And then you need a toothbrush. I use this toothbrush to clean stuff all the time. So yeah, so I'm just gonna also use mild detergent for this. Like make sure there's no bleach in it or any harsh chemicals. And you could clean your juicy bags with that. Um, but definitely patch test the spot whenever you're going to decide to clean a juicy bag depending on what product you're going to use just to make sure that it doesn't ruin it because the velour and the terry cloth it ruins fairly easy. Keep in mind that every juicy bag is different depending on where the stain came from so not all stains can be removed but most can especially if your bag is just dirty. So what you do is you add some of the solution to the brush, you brush it, and then you rinse it with the water. Basically, you'll go in the water and like brush it more until like all the soap is pretty much gone. It's been a while since I've used this. I forgot, cause Manny is, it's Manny is he's the one that uses it or that taught me about it. Okay, 
so the back is way dirtier than the front. Okay, after you're done scrubbing, you're going to want to get a, either a paper towel or just a towel. You're going to want to wipe it, and it's going to wipe off all the grime off of the, off of the purse. And then what you're going to want to do after you have wiped it, you want to let it air dry. So... That's, that's everything I do, guys, to clean my juicy bags. I hope that was helpful. And sometimes you have to give these a few different cleans. Um, but other times they'll clean off just fine. It just depends how deep or how bad the staining is. But yeah, that's it. That's it for how I clean my juicy bags. Okay, you guys, that's everything for this video. I hope you had fun watching me uh, tear apart everything and start completely over because that's what happened. Saying that because here we are a week later and <laughs> it's still torn apart. <laughs> but anyway, if you are new here, subscribe if you liked the video. If you didn't, then thank you for watching. Peace out. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. And by the way, my Poshmark is linked down below if any of the clothes are left that I'm selling. Uh, so I'm going to link it down below for you guys to check out. Um, everything's super cheap because, I mean, it's just stuff I'm getting rid of. I don't have the time nor patience to look through every item and see how much it costs me. So I'm just going to throw it all on there for cheap. Um, so you guys go check it out. If you add like three or more items, you get 10% off. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So... I'll put the link below. Um, also, if you sign up with my code, you get like $10 off or something like that. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.